alcohol consumption and obesity are, on their own, significant risk factors for cancer. But together, a new study suggests they present an even bigger threat. The paper, published in the British Journal of Nutrition, is the journal's 2022 Paper of the Year and comes from Elif Inanerogl and co-workers from the University of Sydney. The team looked at data for nearly 400,000 participants of the UK Biobank study, zeroing in on those who had developed alcohol or obesity-related cancer during data collection. None of these participants had been diagnosed with cancer when the study began. That enabled the team to estimate the cancer risk associated with factors related to obesity and alcohol consumption, both independently and in combination. Factors related to obesity included body fat percentage, waist circumference, and body mass index, or BMI. Alcohol consumption, meanwhile, was measured by dividing drinkers into four groups. Never drinkers, previous drinkers who no longer partake, those who reported drinking less than the UK recommended guideline of 14 units of alcohol per week or within guideline drinkers, and those who drank more or above guideline drinkers. Alone, alcohol consumption, either past or present, tended to link to an increased total cancer risk only at high levels. In fact, the only type of drinking associated with alcohol-related cancer risk was drinking above the UK recommended guideline. Each marker for obesity, however, was independently associated with an overall increased risk across all cancer outcomes at high and moderate levels. Joint analyses showed that this risk appeared to be amplified by alcohol consumption, whether within or above the UK recommended guideline. In particular, above-guideline drinkers who also showed high body fat percentage, waist circumference and BMI had a higher total cancer risk. That excess fat in the body and excessive drinking together lead to an increased cancer risk makes sense. In the case of liver cancer, for example, both lead to oxidative stress and injury through multiple metabolic pathways. Similarly, in breast cancer, alcohol consumption and obesity both lay the foundation for tumour formation through their effects on sex hormones. While more work is needed to understand how and why obesity and alcohol consumption operate in tandem to increase the risk of cancer, these findings are concerning. They add to a growing body of evidence that these factors make a dangerous combination. The upside is that both factors can be prevented or managed. Developing public health interventions and clinical guidelines that promote healthy living may go some way toward curbing some of the population's risk of developing cancer.